What's up, Cancer? We're gonna be doing your first weekly reading for June. I'm super excited. I can't believe we're in June already. Uh, so this will be for June 1st through the 7th. We're gonna start you off with Modern Witch Tarot, Past, Present, Future Spread, Clarifies with Crystal Visions Tarot. At the end, as always, I'll pull Romance Angel Oracle for you guys. Um, so just wanna say thank you everybody who's subscribing. You guys are really killing it. You are not only building my channel so fast and only month and a half, two months, but you guys are honestly helping me stay afloat with the donations and everybody who's been booking personal readings. I'm just so grateful for you guys. So just thank you and I appreciate it. Um, love all of you guys, you guys are awesome. So let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. See what we got going on for June 1st through the 7th for my Cancer, please spirit. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for June 1st through the 7th. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see for Cancer for June 1st. Whoop, no, no, no. Through the 7th. Wow, messy, real messy. Past, present, future, past, present, future, past, present, future. Holy Kings! You, you juggling two masculine energies over there, Cancer? What are you doing? Bottom of the deck, strength, Leo energy. I like this. I hear perseverance with this. I really like it, strength. You're really definitely pushing through a really hard time right now. A real hard time. Okay, recent past. Knight of Wands, the Moon, Five of Swords. <clears throat> Somebody might have been a player, had a lot of secrets, and you knew it. Deep inside, you knew it. With the Moon and the Five of Swords there, it was causing some inner conflict. They were playing. They're playing some games. Current situation, you ended it. There's two masculine energies. Somebody was juggling two people. Someone with a lot of love, someone who's very sexual, right? Done, donezo with the world card there. Immediate future, five of cups, 10 of pentacles in reverse, seven of swords. Someone was being self-deceptive and now they're feeling the hurt because they don't have you anymore. They lost their stable foundation. <laughs> I really feel like this is somebody else. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on, Cancer. I know I just flew through that, but I want to get into your clarifiers so we get the whole picture, not just a little bit. Let's see what's going on for my Cancer for June 1st through the 7th, please, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for June 1st through the 7th. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for, for, for June 1st through the 7th. Why strength here is the overall energy for this week, Spirit, for June 1st through the 7th. Why strength card here? I'm hearing abundance. Some of you just need stability because you weren't getting it with this person. <clears throat> yep, some of you need stability. <laughs> Didn't get it with this person. They weren't honest. They were deceptive. Stable foundation wasn't there. Faulty foundation. Ace of Pentacles is all about long-term stability. You didn't have it with this person, which is why I think you dropped it. Because you're trying to find your stability. You're trying to find your abundance. So talking about the Knight of Wands in the recent past, I feel like this is a player, to be honest. I am not a fan of this Knight of Wands right now. Talking about the Knight of Wands. Yep, there's the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. You dropped them because they were toxic energy and you knew you knew you had to. You knew you had to. You Deep inside, you knew intuitively this was just gonna create conflict. They have the Devil attached to them. They were very obsessed with physical as well though. They like to keep you kind of like entranced in them. Yeah. They didn't want you to be single. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of love. Ten of cups and nine of pentacles in reverse. They didn't want you to be single, but they were playing games. They were obsessed with you. A little codependent. A little codependent here. With the devil and the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups, it screams codependency with to me, especially with the player card. They feel a little bit controlling. They do. They feel a little bit controlling. <clears throat> Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here in the recent past for my cancer? Why is the moon here for cancer in the recent past? Why is the moon here, spirit, for June 1st through the 7th for cancer? Four swords and the magician. They're manipulative and you need to take a step back. You didn't know what they were manipulating, but you were so intuitive. It's crazy. You're very intuitive. You're Cancer. You're in touch with your emotions. The moon is the emotions. It's Pisces energy. Um, with the magician here, I feel that they're very emotionally manipulative. The magician and the moon, a lot of emotional manipulation, and you took a step back. You're like, nope, I need to retreat. I need to do some healing. Yeah, you saw it for what it was. Tell me about the five of swords. 
There's the clarity and there you are retreating. The moon card and the hermit. There is resistance to doing it. You were a little self-deceptive. You didn't want to believe it. You didn't want to believe that this person was hiding things from you, that they weren't being honest. But deep down, you knew that you saw clearly that you had to take a step back. You just went from the major to the minor. Four of swords and the hermit card, Virgo energy. I like that. I like it. Tell me about the king of wands in the current situation. Here's the imbalance, justice in reverse. Two of swords, the stalemate. Queen of swords, you seeing it for what it truly is. Six of swords in reverse, the struggle to move forward. Nine of cups, because there's a lot of love here. Tower card, resisting to let this fall down. And the five of pentacles, because you don't want to feel this abandonment. You don't want to feel left out in the cold. You don't want to feel lonely. Yeah, but it's all around this king of wands. He went from the page of wands to the king of wands in reverse. Very manipulative when it comes to sexuality, emotions. They know just how to keep you enticed. It's a very devil energy. Yeah. I'm shocked I took all these. I typically don't take this many cards, but... It was definitely supposed to happen. A lot of Libra energy with Justice card, Queen of Swords, a lot of sword energy, Two of Swords, Six of Swords. Um, you also have Virgo with the Hermit, Capricorn with the Devil, and Pisces with the Moon. Very interesting. Aries, Leo, Sag with the King of Wands. Some of you dealing with the fire sign. Don't fixate on the signs because people are just embodying these energies, honestly. But there's a lot of resistance to letting this relationship collapse and moving forward to your highest good. And the universe is kind of like, you need to let this go. We have better things planned for you and you're resisting this change. You're resisting the transition because there's a lot of love here, but it's keeping you at a crossroads. Remember, Queen of Swords, you know it's at a crossroads, but you feel as if this is your hope and wish fulfillment, right? You feel like this person is the love of your life because you have the Ten of Cups with them. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups with them. But... They're not emotionally fulfilling. They leave you out in the cold a lot. There's an imbalance here. There's not an equal give and take between the two of you because they're manipulative. They like to keep you bound. They're the devil. <clears throat> Tell me about the world and the current situation. Yeah. You have better things coming. Knight of Wands. You have things that you're passionate about. This is movement forward. This is going after what your heart really wants. This is going after what you want to create, what you're passionate about. I like this. I like the Knight of Wands. Here, Knight of Wands here felt very manipulative, very player-like. This Knight of Wands feels like you. Let's talk about the King of Cups. Yep. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Feeling stuck, but needing, knowing you need to move on. You know that. With the unknown card here in reverse, this is clarity. It's not a secret to you anymore. It's not unknown. You know you need to move on, but you're choosing to stay stuck because the Eight of Swords is self-imposed. More Libra energy. King of Cups, in reverse, they're not emotionally giving you what you need. They're not emotionally fulfilling. You need to move on from them. You do. And it's painful. You don't want to. You're clinging on to them, but they're very manipulative. I want one more card for the... Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're staying stagnant. You're staying stagnant. Four of Cups in reverse. You're like, I'm just going to sit in this energy for a little bit. I'm going to feel bored. I'm going to feel confused. I'm just going to ponder my emotions. This is you choosing to stay stuck, though, to be honest, Cancer. This is choosing to stay stuck. I don't like that. Tell me about the Five of Cups in the immediate future. Yeah. There you go. Finally realizing that this has to come down. You need to release this connection and move forward. The Hierophant, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You're still upset over it. You still miss your person because there's a lot of love between you two, but they're very toxic. You're releasing this connection. It was a very strong soul tie, but you know it wasn't a long-term commitment. So this is you making the conscious decision to make movement forward for yourself. I like that. Let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Cancer? This is very straightforward reading. I feel like we're flying through this one. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Holy shit. Yeah, it wasn't stable. They weren't putting in the same amount of effort you were, right? Because Seven of Pentacles is planting all the seeds and watching everything grow. This is planting the seeds and not getting crap out of it, right? Not having the stability, not having the long-term commitment, not having the equal give and take, not having the same amount of energy put in. But here's that very strong soulmate connection. King and Queen of Cups came out together. Bottom of the deck, Page of Swords, yeah. Deceptive. A lot of deceptive energy here. I don't like the Page of Swords. It's a very sneaky spying energy. And look what we got next, the Seven of Swords. This is you trying to walk away from this connection, but not being able to. It's like, I know I need to walk away. I know I need to let this go. But damn, I, I really can't. It's so strong. 
but it's not stable and it's not healthy. Yep, and what came out on top of it? The Knight of Cups in reverse. They don't give you emotionally what you need and you know this. You know this. You're looking at them like, um, I'm gonna go now, so here's your chance. You can offer me a damn cup or, or I'm out. To Lou. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Strength in Reverse, High Priestess, Justice. Oh my gosh, am I really taking all of these? I guess so, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. We just got a ton of cards. So Seven of Swords, a self-deception, telling yourself I'm walking away from this connection. You can offer me your cup now or not. And you know what that's doing? It's creating more instability within you. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles is the perfect partner card. You have all the capability to be the perfect partner, but you're giving way too much power to this person. Why? Because it's a strong soulmate connection. We have the Two of Cups and then the King and Queen of Cups here. Very strong soulmate connection. And you see that clearly, but you're lacking the confidence and the strength to make the judgment call, to make the decision to move on from this. Right? Because here we got the King of Wands in reverse, the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. They went from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. They're very good at manipulating. They're very good at manipulating of, the King of Wands in reverse reminds me so much of the devil energy. They're very attractive. They're very enticing. They're very um, seductive, right? And it's kind of like, no, keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. And here you are like, no, I know I need to look forward. I know I need to look forward to my path. You know you need to. It's just a question of whether or not, remember, you have strength in reverse on this deceptive energy and your overall energy is strength. The universe is like, you're doubting yourself. You have the resilience. You have the strength to move forward, to have this stable foundation, but you need to be honest with yourself and drop the drama, five of wands in reverse. Let's get some romance angels out for you guys. Let's see what's going on for my cancer. And Cancer, this is your energy, king and queen of cups. So very strong connection with this person, but very toxic connection. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Huh. It's usually how it happens. As soon as you walk away, oh wait, no, come back, I miss you. I'll level up, I'll fix it. I won't be manipulative. We'll see, we'll see. Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, you need to do what's best for you right now. You really do, whether or not they come back to reconcile. Because remember, these are general readings, guys. If you want a personal reading for your specific situation, you can book it on my site. These are general readings. So yes, some of you will reconcile. I can't say 100%, every single one of you will. Uh, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, you need to do what's best for you right now. You need to walk away, you need to heal yourself. You need to say, you know what, I deserve more. And if this person, because they are a true, there is a lot of love between you two. There is, you got the 10 of cups, the king and queen of cups and the nine of cups. There's a shit ton of love. If this person's done being manipulative, done being deceptive, They'll come back, right? If they're meant for you, they're meant for you. But it's only going to happen when you release them energetically and focus on yourself. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, have the strength to do what you need to do. What's in your best interest? Any final messages for my cancer, please, spirit? Wow, I got three. Okay. True love, this is a romance of a lifetime attraction. You attract the romantic partner by enjoying this moment fully and separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Bottom of the deck. You deserve love. You are lovable. This person's not giving you emotionally what you need. So you're going to take a step back. You're going to separate from them. Right? And you're going to go ahead, hang out with your friends, hang out with your family, get the emotional support that you need from the people that are going to be able to give it to you. Granted, this is very honest, true love. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Soulmate cards, King and Queen of Cups on the board, right? But they don't give you the emotional stability you need. There's a lot of attraction. Like I said, they're very enticing. They're the King of Wands. They're very seductive. And spirits like stay optimistic because there's there's a chance that they will come back and reconcile and level up and be able to open up emotionally to you. But you need to take your power back and you need to focus on yourself and your own healing in order to have this kind of connection, which is in the immediate future, King and Queen of Cups. This is a lot of emotional stability. But right now, they're not putting in the energy to have that stability, okay? Immediate future, it's a potential, possibility of reconciliation, right? But you need to take that step back. Remember, what comes first is a separation, is the healing. 
So Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope this resonated. Thank you guys again for supporting the channel and watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.